in a box. Um, so today I am going to be unboxing my, I think this is my third Stitch Fix box. Um, so I have my box here, super excited. Um, I have not done a blog post on my second box yet because I'm actually partnering up with another Stitch Fix influencer and we're swapping um, posts for the month. So I have to send that to her. But I'm super excited to open this box because I was asking for kind of specific stuff. Um, I'm not going to be getting a July box just because we are going to be going on vacation the first week of August. So I kind of didn't want to um, spend that much in the month of July just so that I know we're good to go for our vacation. So I did ask for stuff that is a little bit more summer related, um, beachy related. We're going to be spending a week in the Keys. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I am from South Florida, so it's already pretty much summer here and um, the Keys are not that far away. So if you don't know what Stitch Fix is, Stitch Fix is a kind of like a fashion styling service um, for $20 per box. They will put together five pieces um, based on um, like a style survey that you take. And those five pieces can be any type of article of clothing um, from like dresses to pants, shorts, tops, skirts, you know, whatever. Um, they also do accessories, bags, and shoes. Um, so I have my style guide set to no accessories, bags, and shoes. I'm really looking for just articles of clothing. And you have three days to decide after you get your box, you have three days to decide if you're going to be keeping anything in the box. Um, if you keep everything in your box, I believe there is a 25% discount. If you um, don't keep anything, you just send it back and that's it. Um, another nice thing is whatever $20 that you're spending on your style fee goes towards uh, whatever you're buying. So if you buy everything, then you get 25% off plus you get $20 off because they apply your styling fee to whatever you purchase. Um, I have kept items from all, oh, I've had two boxes. So I've kept items from both of my boxes. The first box, I kept a necklace that I, that I love and I wear it all the time. And the second box, I actually kept a pair of boyfriend jeans, which I wore yesterday and I love. Um, so this one, I am excited to see what they put together for my vacation. So what's great is they actually include the box, or I'm sorry, the bag for you to send things back so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to just toss that over. And a little envelope with information. So I'm going to look in that first. And so very cool, there is a little gift card. They just started a men's line. Um, so this is cool. Got a guy who's not crazy about shopping. Give a Father's Day gift card and a stylist will outfit the dads on your list to perfection. So that is pretty cool. What guy doesn't need a little bit of help, you know, getting styled? And then we have, I'm not going to even look at this yet because this is basically the receipt of all my stuff um, and how much everything costs. So I'm going to look at this at the end. Or maybe we'll look at it as we go along just so that we can see the prices. Um, and then you have styling cards. And I don't want to look specifically at my styling cards yet because I don't want to know what's in my box. But there is a little note that you get from the um, stylist. So hi Lucy, welcome to your fix. I'm so excited to style today's box with your upcoming trip to the Keys in mind. And like any, whenever you get a box, you can give comments back on everything that you're returning or just if you want your stylist to look for certain items, you can do that as well. Um, so like I told you, I was going to the keys. You mentioned that you'd like tops that are more fitted than the ones sent in earlier fixes and I'm happy to deliver. This Colette striped top is a great basic with a fun twist, colors, cu colored cuffs. Pair this top with the light pink shorts. I don't like shorts by Dear John, along with your favorite pair of neutral sandals. This is perfect for a day of sightseeing, lunch, or shopping. The black knit top by American Able will also pair well with these shorts. So in my style survey, I have no shorts. I don't wear shorts. I don't like shorts, ever. I do not wear shorts. 
I think you'll like the fitted style and necklace neckline details. I was about to be like, necklace? <laughs> well, I didn't have the exact dress you pinned. This light green dress by D. Ellie has a similar style. Just add sandals. Enjoy your fix, Lucy. All the best, Jen. So this is a different um, stylist than what I originally had. And I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. And so I noticed for like my three boxes, I've had three different stylists, which I'm not too keen about. I feel like I want my stylist to get to know me and understand that I don't like things like shorts. Um, we'll see. And I see a bag in here, which I asked in my style guide for no bags. So let's see. It better be a damn good looking bag, I tell you that. Alright, so everything comes beautifully wrapped and beautifully folded. So I'm gonna just start from the top. And this is the American Able, American Able. Um, top that she was talking about. It's just a cute little black top. I like this little detailing on here. And let's look at the price sheet. American Able. So this top is $32 and it's called the Molina Cross Front Knit Top. So I am going to pop this on just to get an idea on if I like this top or not. So give me one second. Okay. So I kind of like this top. I love this right here. I could see me wearing this with like the boyfriend jeans. It's fitted. I just feel like a fitted top is more um, flattering on me. Some of the tops that she mentioned in the note that they had been sending were kind of like a flowy top, but it was flowing from here down. And so I just felt like it made me very wide. I don't mind a top that flows from like the a-line down i like that's flattering as well but from up here down um i kind of look like a potato sack so so this is cute i kind of like this Let's see if you can i really like that on the top i like that it's the short sleeves because i'm going to be in the keys and let's look at the next top so this is the colette pop color cuff knit top Ooh. Very cute. Check out that pop of color on the cuff. I love it. It's like a super bright pink. Again, I would probably wear this with um, my boyfriend jeans. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try on. So be right back. Okay. I like it. What do you think, guys? What do you think about it? It's like, sorry, tickets are like driving me nuts. I'm just going to fold them in. They're not like sticking out all over the place. So let me see if I can. I like it, huh? I love the cuff. I feel very like Wonder Woman-ish. I like it. Again, this is probably something I would wear with my boyfriend jeans. Um, okay, so these are the shorts that they sent. Guess what? I'm not even going to try these babies on because, first of all, they're in a way smaller size than is on my detail. I don't know why they would send me shorts if I have no shorts. Like, I don't like showing off, like, my thighs. I'm going to try them on. I'm going to try them on for you guys. I'm going to try them on. I'm not 
even going to come in front of the camera if they don't fit, obviously. Because these are a smaller size. Oh, yeah, this is a hat that people have. This is a big jacket. Like, I would never wear shorts this short. I just hate shorts. Nope, not, not happening. These, I can tell you right now, are definitely way better. Okay, so that was a big no. First of all, they're in a smaller size um, than what is on my style guide. I believe those were 32 on my style guide. I think I have 34 listed, which is the, um, I think it might be the biggest size in the jeans. I'm not 100% sure. So next up is the dress. Let's see. So this is, oh, this is cute. It's kind of like a cold shoulder. It's short. Is this the front? Oh, sorry, guys. There you go. This is the, the front. It's short, which is okay. I don't mind a short dress. I just don't like shorts. I don't like, um, especially like where they cut up right like at the top of my thigh, like those were. Like that is not happening. So I'm going to try this on but I really like the color plus I really like the material like I think this would be nice and um what's it called cool for the keys Short, Sorry, me and my daughter are having a conversation. Oh, this is the dress. So I don't mind the dress. Obviously, it makes my boobs look freaking humongous. And we can't get the zipper up all the way. And it's not because it's too small. It's just the zipper is stuck <laughs> somehow. And we cannot get the zipper up all the way. Um, also, it's really, like, in my opinion, it's kind of short. Like... Like it's short. Like it's like a couple of inches above the knee, which is when it comes to maybe dresses, I don't go this short. Would you agree? Yeah, I like my long maxi dresses, um, and I like them a little bit like under the knee as well. So the dress itself is cute, but I can't really give you a full. <laughs> thing because look even these are falling off because we couldn't close it the zipper's like stuck halfway up and we can't get it to move so I don't know it's not an ugly dress it's a cute dress but it's I don't think it's for me I think it's too tight in the boobs I love this yeah with this I love the cold shoulder look I think it looks great and I love that I'm covering like my arms a little bit Sophia's talking about my little fat things here. So, but look, I can't, you see how it's open in the back? Because I cannot close it. So, regardless, the dress is cute, but it's going to have to go back because I can't, I can't wear it. It's stuck, the zipper's stuck, and it's kind of short. I don't know if I would really, like, take this to go walking around, like, like, keys. Plus, it's kind of windy, so yeah, can you imagine? A little embarrassing. Um, like, I, I wouldn't walk down Duval Street in this, so I may return this box and maybe ask for another box in a couple of weeks to get some more pieces for the trip, so we'll see. All right, let me change really quick. It is cute, but you can't close it. Yeah, I like the color. It's like minty and like um, linen-y looking. It's pretty. But the zipper's stuck and it doesn't go up. Alright, I'm 
came back on my shirt. All right. So let's evaluate. Oh, there's still one more thing in my box. How exciting. A purse that I didn't ask for. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like my style guide was I would never use this bag. So this is the bag. Definitely not me. I'm not into like the Aztec looking print. Oh, it's a Tom's bag. So that's something nice about it. But I'm just not into this type of print. It is a good beach bag. I'm sorry. I have my daughter over here on the side like commenting as I go. It is a good beach bag. Um, but I wouldn't... I don't like these geometric prints. I'm not a geometric print kind of gal. So I'm not going to be keeping this. So let's, let's talk about everything in the box and how much it costs. Because that's the nitty gritty, if you know what I mean. Okay, so the <laughs> that bag is the most, so it's tied for first place as the most expensive item in my box at $58. <laughs> Sorry, Stitch Fix. Um, this one is not a win for me. Um, so that Tom's Capri graphic print canvas tote is $58. I would never, ever pay $58 for a beach bag. Ever. Maybe $10. I don't know. Um, and let's look at everything else in the box. So this black top, the Molina cross front knit top, I told you was $32. This is actually pretty cute. I could wear this with boyfriend jeans and sandals. And even though it is black, it is like the material is thin. Oh, but there's a hole in it. Look, there's a little hole. Can you see it? I can see it. Yeah, there's a hole. Huh? Oh, well, you can see the hole. Everybody can see the hole. Like, you can see it on the camera. Look at it. You see it? See the light coming through? Yep, there's the hole. Right there. Yeah, I really like this top, though. I would even like this top maybe if they had it in a different color. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to return this top and see if they have it in some other colors. I would like it because I really, really like... Look at the detail on the top. It's cute, and it's completely fitted. Yeah, I really like this top, but there's a hole in it. So that's $32. Um, next up is the Lily Cuffed Shorts, which <laughs> is tied for first place as the most expensive item in the bag, in the box, at $58. Sophia thinks they're cute, but cute Sophia's color. 16 years old. Yes, they're a cute color. I ha personally have nothing against shorts. I think shorts are a great item of clothing, just not for me. I don't wear shorts. I don't like shorts, mm -hmm. ever. Like, have you ever seen me in shorts? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen me in shorts? No. So, yeah, sorry. I'm not spending $58 on shorts. And yes, you can make them a little bit longer because they cuff, but I don't like shorts. Ever. Like, I would rather wear, like, capris or boyfriend jeans as my, like, go-to for, like, a vacation. All right. So, those are 58. The Colette, this was a, a cute shirt. The Colette Chavez Pop Color Cuff Knit Top. Sorry, everything's, like, inside out. This is $48. And Sophia says it's ugly. It looks really cute on, though. I liked this top. I thought it was cute. And I loved the little pop of color. So this was $48. And the dress, D.L.E., the Gabrielle dress, um, which is cute. Maybe for a teenager. I am 40 years old. So I just don't feel like this was age appropriate for me and it's stuck right here like we cannot 
Oh, well, of course, now I get the Rupert of Mold. It was like stuck right here. I just got the Rupert of Mold. Ooh, nice. So it was just really difficult to get on by myself. Like I would need somebody to help me zip me up, which is pretty normal, but it's a cute dress. Oh, sorry. Cute dress. But a bit short for me. I'm more of a maxi gal. And that dress is, like I said, $48. So the total for my box was $244. Um, should I buy all five items, the 25% discount was $61. And then the styling fee purchase credit is $20, which would leave everything in the box at $163. Um, honestly, I am going to be returning everything in this box. A, because there was two items that I put in my style uh, guide that I do not want in my style survey, which are shorts and bags. I don't know why I got shorts and bags if I don't want shorts and bags. Sorry, whatever your, what your name is. What was your name? Jen, you seem really nice, but I don't wear those types of clothes. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I wasn't too happy with this box. Sorry. I mean, I hate to break it to you, but I've, I've had my second box was better than this box, which is where I kept the boyfriend jeans. So I'm going to try, I was going to skip July, but I'm going to call Stitch Fix and I'm going to try and get another box in a couple of weeks and see what happens. So stay tuned on that. We will definitely do another unboxing uh, when that one comes in. And hopefully there will be some pieces that I can keep uh, for my trip to the Keys. So as always, thank you for sticking around. Thanks for watching this till the end. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.